Hey everybody, Texas Stroke here, Lance's Performance Shop, LoneStarMopars.com. First off, I hope that you all had a fantastic Christmas. Hopefully you got some time off spending with your friends and family. And if all goes well, you will have a great New Year's Eve and start to your new year as well. Now, right now, it is Christmas Eve out here in the shop. It's cold. I've got another project going on, kind of in light of our Halloween video. Which if you haven't seen that one, check it out. But, uh, had some cinematics that you either loved or hated, right? And I think most people probably in the middle sort of appreciated. Might not have been super fans, whatever. But I uh, had something strange going on today. I'm helping my mom out with something that my grandmother had made way back in probably the 60s. And that's why I've got JB Weld on my gloved Ghidorah hand, right? So if you want to see what was going on there, I'll keep that at the back. But it wouldn't really be fair to the tool. And uh, the tool is super cool. It is brand brand new, and I also need it tomorrow. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a good time here. I will tell you right now, I found this thing. I want to say back in uh, spring or early summer. Of course, first thing I do when I find a brand new German tool is I contact Colin at KC Tool and say, Hey, when are you gonna have it? <laughs> and uh, the initial projection was actually like early 2020 2021. And uh, turns out they actually got them in stock. So if you see this, you love it, you got to try it. It is available. I'm not sure how many they have on hand. Uh, otherwise, you know, just uh, be aware it might go in and out of stock. Should have some more coming in. Uh, there's another version of it that we'll hit on a little bit later. And there is a close counterpart that we'll try to cover as well. Now, why do we have all this stuff here? I don't know. Does it tie in with what we're doing? Perhaps. <laughs> let's, uh, let's come in and we've got the box right here again. Uh, this is something I was uh, super, super geeked out about, which I don't know how many people inquire about tools, you know, like six months before they're available, but I'm that guy. <laughs> and, uh, so uh, this was sent out by Casey Tool. Big thanks to everybody over there. They're actually off today and tomorrow, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, so hopefully they uh, enjoy that. But as with all things Casey Tool, we get a bit of thanks. This is the Philo Stamped number 2. Might take that one with us just in case, but... Uh, since this is actually going to be relevant, again, this is Christmas Eve, I'm going to have this out the day after Christmas, which is Saturday, uh, you can still cash in on this, and this is actually a good visualizer for you. So, timestamps, as always, if you want to skip ahead or you're just curious about what in the heck I was doing for my mom. But uh, Viha's big deal, this thing will expire on the 31st, so the good news is, if you see this Saturday, even Sunday, you want something here, cash in on it. Number one, this is very popular, especially like with the PC electronic hobbyist types. $59.99 for the 65 piece micro bit master tech set. I'm not sure that that's the drive handle that comes with it, but they're all the same. You can acquire whatever color you'd like. Uh, the ultra driver is on a stupid goodbye at $25.99, but if you note down here, it also comes with an additional. Uh, bit pack the ultra driver it is unique it's not a standard quarter drive bit it's a double-sided but if you're invested in that ecosystem or you want to give it a shot kind of have an all-in-one in your glove box or your desk drawer kitchen whatever it might be that is the way to go and this is the time to do it at that price point uh, case in point you'd typically be looking at north of forty dollars without the bonus bits right here if you prefer standard stuff if you want quarter drive bits if you've got a ton of them already and you're looking for something that has a good capacity. $19.99 for the 20-piece uh, set of the pop-up driver. That's actually what I have on my desk at work. It's served me quite well. And then right here, if you're doing anything where you need uh, the ability to interchange mallet faces, that's what you'd want to do. $58.99. That's almost half off. And uh, pretty sweet little setup there. Something I've always wanted to bring in. Might do it, uh, but we did wind up going with the Halder stuff not long ago. So, up next, we have Vera, and it will still be active just like the Viha until the 31st. Uh, they've got their uh, wheel impact set. They've got the stubby driver set, uh, which we've got them sitting around here somewhere. A couple of them. <laughs> the uh, Torx T-handle and the Hex Plus T-handle. If I had to pick one of these four items to acquire and have here at the shop, it would be the Hex Plus T-handles. Uh, a lot of times, you know, just having that T-handle on there is way more comfortable. You can generate a little bit more leverage. Your hand is way less likely to slip off. Pretty sweet deal. And oh, not to be forgotten, there is the giant... SC1 Zyclops ratchet set. That's going to be in one of their canvas cases. And again, all this stuff is on, for example, $199 here, $200. Bucks. That's usually $333. 
the wheel sockets 50 bucks pretty much every manufacturer's got something like that now uh, the stubby driver's $24.99 that's actually a good buy uh, the Torx T-handle which that would actually have a good place but again I mean just picking one it would be that even though they call it $4.54 uh, 70 bucks there, regularly 114 and then right here, SAE and Metric, both of them north of 100 bucks. You can get them for around 60 right now. So, But wait, there's more. The back side here, which Vihaz was one-sided. <laughs> uh, right here, they've got their round of screwdrivers. If you want to jump into Vera, if you've never tried any of their stuff, that's actually a good way to do it. Get a bottle opener, a decal, maybe a coaster. And then, of course, we've got some uh, hex plus, you know, bit extensions, things along those lines. So, again, all of that is available at KC Tool. It's all on super good buys through the 31st. So, here we are. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. We got the bit of thanks. We got the promotional stuff out of the way. This is something that I doubt many of you have seen. Uh, you almost have to be someone like me who sort of, like stocks the website right see what what all new is coming anything anything special or exciting and uh, i cannot tell you how geeked out i am about this one now if you watch a lot of the tool hauls you know we do a lot of screwdrivers right we're in a constant quest to find the best one uh here's some offerings from Ghidorah themselves we've got one of the first ones i ever bought from them their striking cap i gotta say if you've never had their drivers they stand alone as incredibly unique uh, here you can kind of see you've got the you know hand profiles. It's almost like ice pick design. Uh, we got their wooden handle ones for good measure. And then over here on the flip side, we've got some stuff you've seen recently. A uh, little limited edition style villa set. We've got this guy, the Ratchener. We've got the uh, Philo Organic over here, swivel head ratcheting. And then we've got the pistol grip Vera that uh, I don't even think you've seen that video because I think it's one of the next one or two <laughs> lined up. So spoiler alert there, but uh, hey. It's not like we spent 20 minutes playing around with different attachments or anything in the video, so I uh, still have a little to look forward to. But what I've got to look forward to is this sucker right here. Now, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing tomorrow. Uh, way back, maybe like April, I bought NBA Jam, uh, the arcade cabinet, for my nephew uh, for Christmas. And uh, that's when everything was like, you know, the crud had just hit the fan and nobody knew what was going to happen. And I thought, well, you know, if I'm not dead, I want to I wanna get this and have it for my nephew. <laughs> and uh, still here, uh, everything's in check. And I uh, got it hauled over to my sister's house the other day. And it's one of those things I've read online. It takes two to four hours to assemble. I don't know how complicated it is, but I know I can use this and get a really good feel for it in that time window. And... Uh, if you didn't play NBA Jam growing up, it's got some great one-liners in there. This one in particular has like several uh, different games, but uh, that's basically why I'm out here to get this out for you to see right after Christmas and for me to use this tomorrow, see what I think of it. It'll be a really good test because I can only assume there will be a crud ton of screws with an arcade cabinet. So you know it's an arcade cabinet, you know we got a screwdriver. You know, we've got Ghidorah stuff and we got ratcheting. If you were to put these two together, we would have Ghidorah here and ratcheting over there. So if you were inclined to use your context clues and say, hey, is this a Ghidorah ratcheting screwdriver by chance? Well, my friends, you would be 100% correct. <laughs> and uh, this is why I have been dorkly excited. Number one, uh, it's kind of rare to get the ratcheting screwdrivers, particularly when they're not from Taiwan, like the Stahl Villa, it's actually really nice. It's super heavy uh, for being stubby, but uh, it's Taiwan based, right? Uh, there's been a lot of debate here. Some people have said this mimics whatever design. I think it's been left in the comments again, uh, which I happen to love it, but it's based in Taiwan. I think this one might be Czech entirely, the Vera, but uh, with Viha, right? You know, one of my favorite handles don't see much you know with vit you can't really go in and find their ratcheting screwdrivers so Ghidorah was the same way this is pretty much it for Ghidorah screwdrivers right here uh, granted you've got insulated versions of these two but uh, that's that's pretty much it and uh, to get a ratcheting screwdriver it's pretty excited now you're probably thinking like hey you, know, you got ratcheting screwdrivers here you probably got some other cheap ones you know what's what's so great about this why would you contact and bother a guy in the middle of a pandemic and say hey when are you going to get this thing in well this is different from any other ratcheting screwdriver uh that i've ever known of that i've ever heard of that i've ever seen that i've ever used and uh, that is what makes it special so first thing first let's just start with the basics i'm not even sure that, uh, that you're going to understand it until we get it out but 
Ghidorah part number 2169. Uh, this sucker, case in point right now, at KC Tool, if you see this and you're already logging on to buy it, 6741. Will it be the tool of the day at some point? Probably, but I have no idea when. Uh, there will also be a version, which we'll talk about that later. Uh, you'll save a little bit of money if you go that route. But you can see right here, it's just kind of a, a standard bit holding design. You can clearly see the ratchet mechanism is indicated there. But uh, check it out. Let's see. They say, try me, silent gear. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, it shows that it's got slotted Phillips posi, torques, magnet. <laughs> it's got left and right functions, which you would expect, right? Some little picture there, probably not too important. We'll see what it means in a little bit, right? Uh, right here, you can kind of see the same highlights there. So it is time to get this thing opened up. Now, this is made in Slovenia. If you're thinking, you can actually see it right there conveniently. Now, Ghidorah, you typically think of Austria and Germany, or at least I do. Now, if you've paid close attention to recent videos, oh, I feel the power. <laughs> uh, you'll probably recall Hazette had an advent calendar recently, and there was kind of a, it was, you know, a little expensive for what it was. It was a screwdriver, some bits, and a couple of L keys that looked relatively plain, right? Uh, it is eerily similar to this. I don't know if Ghidorah's making this. I don't know if Hazette makes it. I don't know if it's someone in Slovenia that makes it and rebrands it. I honestly can't tell you that. All I know is this thing is awesome. It's in a perfect color scheme, and I cannot wait to use the snot out of it tomorrow morning. <laughs> so, uh, this is it. This is what we're looking at. This is the Ghidorah ratcheting screwdriver. Now, what's important, one of the little things I glazed over there, try not to draw too much attention to, right? was where it said silent gear that's right and you're thinking silent gear what are they talking about ratcheting screwdrivers everyone knows ratcheting screwdrivers make noise right oh well yeah you know we'll we'll investigate it here shortly now the important thing we also saw a list of bits right and so i've got to figure out how to use this there's a hanging hole here it says to press and uh bear with me because i've never oh i see what's up okay so this is locked nothing's happening but if i press here and see that arrow directional towards the vice boom that's right so this is how this one's structured right so i've never seen anyone like this typically you know like with vera which we happen to have one here we come in and we, we hit this button <laughs> it pops down it's kind of got like the round magazine of course the vhaws pop out the back end uh, this is unique. It's sort of like a square type of a design, sort of a cartridge space age type thing. And one of the things I was very proud of what Ghidorah did here is these bits are actually going to be extremely useful for me. So running over the contents of this specific set, we're going to have a number one, two, and three Phillips, which is kind of crazy. Uh, it's really rare that you see a number three Phillips included, but hey, I'm not going to complain. One and two will be used all the time. Next up, you got your slotted. It looks like a pretty nice selection, right? Well, it is. Uh, it's going to be a 4.5, 5.5, and a 6.5, which, again, is going to cover most situations for you out of the box. Uh, coming in next, this is something else I was pretty happy about. Now, you're going to be confused because you're like, oh, you got a couple of torques, and you got, oh, your posies, right? So what's that guy? Well, this is a T10. You got a T10, 15, 20, and 25. Again, if you've been on the channel a long time, you know I deal with a ton of T25 stuff at work. Similarly here, doing like steering column stuff, you know, I've run into like uh, T-15s and T-20s. You also get the T-10, which will come handy for some smaller electronics. Uh, another thing that I've recently had to start using at work is a number one posi. <laughs> so, uh, I am beyond ecstatic that that is there. The Hazette Advent Calendar one, I wasn't super thrilled with their bit selection. It was a 1 and 2 Phillips torques you had 15 20 and 25 and then they included four five and six for hex bits uh, and then they had i think two or three slotted so i actually much prefer the bit selection here and i gotta say for limiting yourself to 12 bits this is a pretty solid setup now keep in mind these are standard quarter drive bits so every single bit of things that you have if all you use is a number two phillips pull the other stuff out swap it in in fact let's go ahead and do that we're going to come over and let's check out what what you know <laughs> will probably be my most used so this is our number two phillips and uh, we're going to go ahead and zoom in here see what we can find that's a little blurry gonna oh no way this is awesome this is what i was curious about okay so you can see that 
Ghidorah has got their name on there. It almost looks... Let me get my hand up here. I'm really cold. I guess it's just etched really well. It almost looked stamped. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, I, I get excited about these things. But uh, let's try to get the camera back focusing so you can see Ghidorah there. If I flip her around, you've got pH 2. Looks like we've got an S2 there. Trying to maintain focus. I don't think we're going to have anything else written down, but that is stamped beautifully. What I was sad about with this, I don't actually have any Ghidorah bits, right? So this was, that was kind of the downer there, but these are in fact stamped Ghidorah. Again, origins of this, I just know it's made in Slovenia. I know it's labeled for Ghidorah. I know that's an awful lot above and beyond what I would do if I was rebranding something, but hey... Um, I'm not going to complain because that's a sweet looking bit now. Right here we've got the Philo number two and we're just going to throw it in. You ready for the magnet? Okay, very strong. This is a magnetic, as I'm sure you can tell by the sound and watching the bit get retracted. But to case in point prove what I'm talking about, this is just the Philo bit of thanks. I can come in here, it'll fit the holder, and it'll slide in beautifully right there in the cartridge case. So like I said, if you never do anything slotted and you need hex bits and you've got them, put them in. If you love VHA bits, if they're standard quarter inch, quarter quarter drive they'll fit so any standard quarter drive bit will plug and play just fine in this cartridge so that's what we've got i'm going to go ahead how does this work when we shut it slick now this side over here does not have a detent doesn't say press it's just got the nice Ghidorah blue over here though that's where you will press down and again you can either pull this back or pull this forward and they just simply pop out now the design itself is actually spring-loaded. I can see that. Uh, it's got a nice little detent. The way that works, the spring rocks up. There's a plastic tab. Not sure that you can see it super well, but right there in front of the slotted on the base, that's what stops that from going all the way. And I gotta say, it's plenty of space with the design of the handle and the slim collar here. We actually do have a lot of ability to access all of these bits. They're spaced nicely as well, so it's not like you can get to this, but you're touching all these. I've got fairly big hands, and I'm able to maneuver around all 12 of the bits beautifully. So uh, that was very well thought out, very well designed. You'll note the handle. You can kind of tell like this is a hard plastic, you can sort of see from the sheen there. And then right here, if that looks like it might be somewhat of a comfort grip, it is. So this is a two component handle basically. We've got like a fiberglass reinforced nylon, I guess would be our hard surfaces. And then right here, this would be our thermoplastic elastomer, which again, nice on your hands, provides good grip. Uh, if we were outside and it started raining or snowing, we're going to still be able to maintain a nice solid grip. It does have the uh, textured ribs sort of built in there, which is a nice feature. Not a ton of them, but very subtle. It kind of lends itself to the design, in my opinion. I think you can kind of tell if you watch my thumb here, I spin that. I can feel the dots. I've got pretty good you know, traction on it, but right here... It's almost like I'm sliding across you know, a tire or something, right? It's just got more grip on that end of the handle. So it will have a hanging hole here. So if you've got yourself set up with a pegboard, uh, anything like that, you want to keep this separate, you can go to town there. If you want to run a giant cable tie through it and with your name with a name tag on it so no one takes it from you at work, you can do that, whatever you want to do. Now, coming in right here, this is what I wanted to see. All right. Well, this is going to be difficult because of the glare. Right there, designed by Ghidorah Germany, made in Slovenia. So again, I don't know the particulars on it, I just know that this thing is super impressive thus far, and I've not even shown you the coolest part. <laughs> so, uh, right here, I think the Hazet one actually had their uh, name right up here. Obviously, we don't have it. They're sold out of those, by the way, uh, so we can't really investigate it in person. You can see... Right there, you got 2169012, that's their part number, patent pending. And the only other text on the shaft itself, which is quarter hex, is going to be designed for Ghidorah, Germany, made in Slovenia. The collar, though, we've got a C63 one quarter, right? So uh, that's sort of what that looks like. Now, right here, this is important. This is one of the downfalls of some ratcheting screwdrivers. 
as with a standard ratchet, if you're sitting there and you're like gonna, you know, change a tire on the side of the road, can you use a half inch drive ratchet to do it? Absolutely. But it's really hard on the ratcheting mechanism. That's why God made breaker bars and tire irons, right? So, just like I don't want to come in and use my, you know, super fancy ratchets to break things free if they're super tight. Same thing here. If you're tightening something and really, really bearing down on it, or it's like a C screw and you're just wrenching on it, you know, and you're throwing wrenches over everything. Keep in mind, don't do that in your ratchet mode. That's what I like here. You can see they've designed this very beautifully. Doesn't matter what language you speak, that's universal. You got two directional arrows and a lock. And if you know that mechanism is not moving, that means this is locked out. So this is where we would come in, we would tighten, and we would attempt to break things free if this is all that we had in our arsenal. Also, uh, the Ghidor branding there is on point, color scheme, perfect for Ghidor perfect for me black and blue does not get much better than that so let's uh let's come back out here right so most recent addition uh to the shop would be the vera pistol grip right so we've got left and right and we've got a 89 millimeter bit in here I know it's not focused, we were caring about the sound quality. Now, prior to that, I've had this one a lot longer, but uh, the video was, I guess, released last week, so check it out. This is from Stavilla. Again, the ratchet itself, I believe, Taiwan. It's actually a very fine ratchet. It's a little less noisy than the Vera. Uh, it doesn't feel as crisp and as precise to me. But again, I have used this not a ton because I've primarily been using a micro finish v for all the stuff you know, trucks dash work, but uh, just another sound for you. And then this guy that I have used the absolute snot out of, let's go ahead and give a listen to it. Very quiet, not necessarily consistent, you know, but quite quiet compared to the other two. Now, those are pretty nice ratcheting screwdrivers. Now, what was my first ratcheting screwdriver? Well, the one that I remember as being first and the one that I still have and yes is still functional is right here in my hand you can hear the extra bits in fact let's see how well I know this thing okay don't laugh I know I know that you either have or had drivers just like this right <laughs> so if I'm thinking correctly when we take this out this is sort of a trilobe design too you know, I've mentioned how I do like the vit design you know for the trilobes we should have a adapter for sockets. Oh, I didn't know that was in there. Okay, I thought I had a tiny one. Um, maybe I retired this one because I, I have an orange one very similar to this in the truck. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's one of those things. It just holds a crud ton of bits and we go to town. It also has the collar. I think it has two collars, actually. I'm sure that's how they advanced it. But uh, right here, we've got, I guess the last thing I know, slotted. We've got primarily number two Phillips there. A bunch of them are nasty and rusted. But check this out. We do have a lockout on this, which was surprising. But here we go. You ready to hear this glorious contraption compared to all these you know, later and greater ones? Now, if you're thinking it seems quiet, that's just because it doesn't ratchet nearly as frequently. Okay, that's the issue with this one. So, you know, at the time, you know, when you're like, you know, 12, 15 years old, this is a great ratcheting screwdriver for you, right? I uh, wasn't always able to go out and kind of expend and get like dream tools, you know? So, slowly but surely, we're building up our arsenal here. Probably have more screwdrivers than we'd ever need, but... You never know. Uh, you just never know. So, we got really, really old school there. We've got more modern stuff, very recent designs. And you can kind of see they all share, you know, what ratcheting screwdrivers do. They ratchet. You always hear that mechanism, right? You know, it's just like your ratchets. Well, think back. What was this one and what did I tell you? It was special. It was silent gear, right? So, you're thinking, well, that's not making any sound. And you're like, well, I'm smarter than this guy. It's not making any sound because he's got it locked out. You would be correct. So, what I'm going to do here, get this to focus, and you can see, we're totally locked, right? It's not rotating. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch it right there, okay? Now, I want you to listen real careful. You, you can clearly tell this is rotating, right? Because we've got this lock, and if I rotate now the driver, 
we've got this. So it's printed on two sides. It's kind of got like the flat anti-roll spots, right? So you know this is rotating because I can take this and make it go away, get to the one that was just on the back side, and now make them both go away. So that's proof positive that this shaft is rotating, but what's wrong? Do you hear that? That's the point. You don't hear anything because this is Ghidorah's silent gear. And it's actually silent. What you actually hear when it's dead quiet, I think it's just like the collar uh, rolling up against, you know, like the base here. If I get it farther away, you're not going to hear anything. Uh, this is insane. A lot of you will be freaked out by this. I've just rotated it from lock to the other direction. Mm-hmm. That, my friends, is why this was special. This is my Christmas gift to you. Uh, letting you know that this thing is available. And uh, good grief, I am ecstatic about it. So, it's not often. You gotta think, like, you know, it's like, oh, you know, you got your stubby ratcheting screwdrivers. Essentially, you know, like your evolution. You got, like, the old cheap ratcheting screwdriver, right? It'll hold a bunch of bits. And it's like, oh, well, I need a small one. And it's like, well, here you go. And it's like, you know, that's not really conducive for the dash work. I'd like something that's angled. And it's like, well, yeah, get, check this one out. And it's got a cool, better bit holder, too. You know, and it's got bit capacity in the handle. And then you come in and you're like, oh, this is like the, the pinnacle of comfort. And look, it's straight on. And I can go 90 and 45. Wow, that's so much more versatile than that one. So where do you go next, right? You, you've got standard... You got stubby, you've got 45, you've got one that can do it all. The next evolution really would be you maintain the bit holding, you keep it comfortable, and you go and you make it silent. <laughs> all right? Uh, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be weird. This is why I really wanted this thing ready for tomorrow because every single screw that I can turn on an NBA Jam arcade cabinet is going to be turned with this. So just think of this. When you see this video around that time yesterday morning, I was using this sucker building an NBA Jam arcade cabinet. <laughs> so and now to complete the pinnacle here, we take our Ghidorah branded bit, which is super cool, slide it in, and check this out. So if we were sitting here and we had a screw we were going to town on, I mean, you're basically hearing my fingers hit the handle. You don't hear, for example, let's come in with a Vera one now. <laughs> we would be sitting here. Right? You, you notice that difference pretty pretty easily, I think. So, uh, man, this thing is awesome. So, what is the other version? I know a lot of you are probably super intrigued by this. If you were just thinking, yeah, it's just another bit-holding screwdriver that ratchets. What's he so excited about? It's a silent gear. Plus, it's a total different design. I've never had anything with that kind of square profile bit-holding-wise. And I've got to say, you know, let's do a quick little comparison here. We press down, we slide out. Those truly are extremely easy to access. Now, this... It's not terrible, but, and it fits the design is the main thing, but if I had to pick which one of these would I rather deal with for 12 bits, it would be this, and this one you cannot fit 12 bits in it, unless you made a really, really big uh, non-ergonomic handle. So this is a brand new design. It's a brand new ratcheting mechanism. Uh, it's got, uh, how do you pronounce that magnet? You know, it's the N word. It's like neodymium, that one. <laughs> Whatever it is usually abbreviated as Neo. It's the really good magnet, so it's good quality there. Uh, this, I don't see really any issues with that. Uh, to be totally fair with the Ultra Driver, I've had a lot of you tell me, you know, like those things wear out, the carousels over time. Uh, my pop-up one, I haven't had any issues. The Ultra Driver, I don't use too terribly much. Because, um, again, I alternate through everything to try and get each and every driver some seat time. But this actually is a really good design, in my opinion. And, again, super easy to access it. So, uh, once more, this is what comes with it. We've covered the bits. If all you're going to do is torque stuff with this, change the bits. If you burn through T15s, stock extras. You've got 12 here. Technically, if you consider this, you know, you could half 13 bits in capacity if you will sort of a backup type of thing but uh it's a unique design and you think like oh that's going to be super clunky now you kind of know my preference on handles and i actually really prefer you know kind of the fatter handles 
uh, the ergonomics of them. I do like trilobes as well. This is a little bit bulkier than some people might like, but I happen to really be fond of it. Uh, especially, you know, when you come in and you think of yourself having the screw there and going to town. It's just going to work beautifully. My card was about to time out, so I stopped it preemptively. Let me hit my notes here, make sure I have covered everything. So, Ghidorah 2169. Now, Casey Tool right now, 6741. As of me filming this, they are in stock. I have no clue how many they have. There is another version. It's going to be part number 2675, and it's roughly half the cost. Uh, it comes in right now at thirty-one, thirty-two. Again, that's standard pricing, not tool of the day or anything. As far as I understand, there's not even pictures for either one of these. It's like image coming soon. That's how new this stuff is. I'm not exaggerating it for you. But uh, I want to say, and I cannot find any images of the 2675 online yet, uh, even on Ghidorah's website. I think the only difference is it doesn't have the bit holder, right? So obviously you're eliminating the bit holder, not bit holder, but you know, we'll call it, you know, like the magazine, the bit storage in the handle. That is scratched. It's not there. And obviously, since it doesn't have the bit storage in the handle, you don't get the bits. So eliminating 12 bits and eliminating that, if you just wanted to experience the silent gear and see how well you like it, see if it freaks you out, and you know, have it as a conversation piece with your friends, whatever it might be. You can save a pretty good chunk of money. Uh, now, me personally, depending on what you've got, like if you've got bits out the wazoo, you do not need them, pick that up, save the money, and if you love I mean, technically, you could buy two of them uh, for a little less than this one. If you're just jumping in, or you need the bits, or you're like me, and you say, hey, you know, that's actually a really good assortment, I like what they did there, go ahead, pull the trigger. Uh, obviously, again, tool of the day would be the time to buy this, but I don't know when it's going to happen. So the real question is, how excited are you about the silent gear, and how long are you willing to wait to experience it? Uh, let's see here. The return angle. This is something I have not highlighted yet. So with even the Vera one here, right? If I come in, you know, we got a little bit of play. It's pretty dadgum good. It's certainly a lot better than this Klunkmeister over here, right? Which, like I said, I mean, that's like, what, there's six teeth or something around the whole thing? I don't even know. But this right here, it is not quite a zero return angle, but like, look what I'm doing here. I'm actually rotating that and coming back. And what I mean is not quite zero. You can tell it's not like instantaneous, you know, but it's as close as I have ever been to an instantaneous lockout. I mean, SK's X-frames are like, what, 1.7 degree swing arc? This is less than that by a significant margin. It's not zero, and you're thinking, well, so what is it? Like, 1 degree, 1.5? Come on, tell us. It's so low they can't measure it. If you had all of the fancy calibration equipment, and you're putting together the pamphlet on this, you know, and you're the engineer behind the product, and you're like, okay, well, let's see. Did we achieve our goal of, you know, a, a 1 degree return angle? It doesn't measure anything. That's how close to zero it is. So if you're looking for something quiet and deadly, like, I mean, the, look at that. That's just absurd. It's like, I don't even, I turn more than I would be required to, to have this set back and ready to tighten or loosen. Uh, it's just a super, super cool state of the art design here. So silent and zero degree, immeasurable return angle. Uh, if the silent thing didn't throw you a loop and get you intrigued, the return angle should because, again, it cannot be measured, uh, which is crazy to think about. Uh, the blade on this one is going to be uh, 115 millimeters. The overall length, uh, blue tip here over to the top of the bit holder, 250 millimeters. Again, neodymium magnet, however we pronounce that. We've covered the two-component handle, and uh, I gotta tell you, absolutely love this thing so uh big shout out to uh colin and guys over at casey tool for sending this thing out <laughs> and, uh, like i said i waited many months for this thing to show up stateside so we could experience it and the uh, timing was perfect i think they got these in like a couple days before christmas again if you want this if you see this video this thing is available i make nothing off of that i just have the link solely for your benefits you don't have to go digging around on the site trying to find it you can click the link 
examine it. Uh, all the specs are there. They currently don't have any images. I imagine that'll be coming soon. And again, I will go ahead and link to the uh, cheaper version without the magazine capacity. Keep in mind, though, that one has not been in stock, so uh, not sure a timeline quite sure on that one just yet, but uh, this thing is sweet. So uh, let's go ahead, let me, let me do some comparisons. If you're a Ghidorah fan, you're going to have their drivers. This is the Striking Cap one. You can kind of get a feel. If you had to put one knock on this, it would just be the bulk, um, you know, in the handle area. Again, for me personally, that's not a negative. That's something I don't mind. Uh, it is noticeable. You know, it might be a little bit thicker than you would want it to be, but I don't find it objectionable at all. I've got my thumb in the sweet spot. I've got a nice roll zone going on. That's even with gloves. Uh, and again, this is a pretty comfortable handle. Uh, but the big thing is you're willing to tolerate that because you've got capacity here. You've got 12 bits on tap at your disposal. So uh, that's awesome. But then you come up here, you've got silence. I mean, like you're hearing the friction of my glove on the handle at this point in time. And then again, there's no return angle. It's not able to be measured. It's that precise, that silent. Uh, this is an insanely awesome tool, and again, it worked out perfect for Christmas. Uh, yes, I've got tool hauls ready. Yes, they're numbered. Yes, I could have just released one. This showed up. I think I got it uh, Monday or Tuesday in the mail. I'm out here now. Literally, my uh, toes, I'm starting to lose feeling in them. <laughs> if you're curious, I don't have a heater in the shop, aside from like a 70s space heater that's not on, but... Uh, this thing is awesome, and uh, like I said, I'm going to be using the snot out of it starting Christmas morning. So, uh, if any of you have built, they make all kinds of different games. They got like Pac Man and uh, the Ninja Turtle ones are kind of cool if you played that when you were little. Uh, but uh, it will be a nice little arcade cabinet. However, many screws I can turn will all be turned with that guy right there. So, should have a pretty good feel for how I like the thing. Um, coming in right here, just quick comparison let me grab this big one we got a number three villa <laughs> villips right i've got my german german w's going on that's a pretty fat handle the ergonomics on that for the viha phillips number three this is actually i would have to say slimmer uh than the bulb handle on the viha number three so that gives you a good that's just kind of what i've got handy here good idea of what you'd be dealing with i've got a uh trilobe here from vit this is the old max pro and they now have a cool black and blue color scheme but looking down the barrel here just for comparison again obviously you know that's triangulated so you're cutting some mass off of it but not entirely that big of a difference between those two again particularly if we were to size up say a number three phillips or a really really big slotted but uh got some other drivers here here's a t40 i guess it'd be the biggest trilobe i have on hand and it's in the new design by the way yeah i mean this really isn't objectionable if you have like if you've got viha soft finish or micro finish a number three phillips or a big slotted this will be just a little bit smaller than that now obviously compared to this tiny little wooden handle right pretty big <laughs> change in the circumference there but uh comparing it again to their standard no hex bolster no striking cap it's roughly the same dimensions side to side. It's just it shaves so much excess it's not required because of the bit holding capacity here. So this thing works really well in terms of, you know, opening and closing. It's positively locked, as you can see there. And I'm not being gentle with it. There's absolutely no sign of that wearing. Now, over time, it could happen, but initially, not the case. <laughs> but, uh, again, the color scheme, at least for me, is perfect so uh, i'm totally geeked out about this thing if you did pick up a hazette advent calendar you will have something similar to this i don't know if they're identical again i don't know those things uh, if you do how does it compare to this uh, which color scheme do you like better the hazette doesn't look bad uh, this one looks really good and obviously we've got first-hand experience with it <laughs> but, uh, as of right now hazette and Ghidorah are the only ones i see with 
the silent gear. I don't know if maybe it's coming with some of the other manufacturers. I don't know if they're, they're irrelevant. They're working on their own versions. But I do know this thing is available, and I do know that I absolutely love it, and I've not even turned a single screw with it. So uh, I'm, I'm going to take this in the house with me to head over to my sister's tomorrow. <laughs> And uh, it will be uh, tasked with putting together the NBA Jam cabinet. So, I mean, look at that. It's just, when? Like, 2020, people say 2020 sucked. Well, 2020 gave you this, you know? I mean, it's the little thing sometimes, right? So, obviously, your health, you know, is the most important thing. But, oh, man, I'm, I'm going to have some fun with this guy. So, um uh, that said, I gotta run over here, check my uh, JB Weldon on the little Christmas project. I will put that at the end of the video for you. <laughs> but, uh, the main thing here was to highlight this. It's literally, you know, freshly, freshly on the shores here in America. Made in Slovenia, designed by Ghidorah in Germany. Uh, really, again, a super nice bit selection in my opinion. But it's just, the magnet is great. The hex bolster is good. If you wanted to, you could put a wrench on that. I don't plan on doing that, but man, it's just, it's crazy, <laughs> you know, like you, you're used to this, when you have a ratcheting screwdriver, that's what you're accustomed to, you're not accustomed to this, <laughs> you know, so definitely let me know, if you plan to pick this up, as soon as you get it, come back to the video, leave a comment, let everyone know your thoughts from experiencing it in hand, again, the video will not do this thing justice it's one of those tools that you best appreciate in person in hand trying out listening to it playing with it you know adjusting it whatever you want to do that's what you need to do to fully appreciate how awesome this thing is so uh again kudos get a door you know for making this thing happen color scheme spot on but more importantly it's just a super cool tool and again you know, it's like I said, we've got the El Cheapo here, which again, don't laugh. I know all of you have or had something similar to that. Uh, then you've got, you know, kind of the stubby, you know, it's the evolution. And like I said, this, a lot of people wouldn't have thought this was coming. People would have thought, oh, it's perfect. Or get me, you know, a 90 degree one. Or, you know, come in and, oh, you can't beat this design. Look at the versatility. This is a silent gear. Now, at some point in time, will we have something similar to the Philo here? where it can ratchet 45 and 90 degrees and we can go across the horizon. Maybe, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, I can't wait to see. It's, it's super awesome uh, to see something as basic as a screwdriver still being innovated, still being improved upon. And uh, like I said, I can't wait to see what some of you think of this thing. So if you pick one up, come back, let us know what you think of it. And again, some of you may hate it. Some of you may love it. Uh, some of you might, you know, be blown away by it, but, you know, find that you don't use it much or something along those lines. Uh, but for me, I am going to make a, uh, a dedicated attempt to use the snot out of it. So uh, we'll kind of update you on all that coming up. But uh, like I said, tomorrow... <laughs> I should be very, very aware of if I love it or hate it, but uh, in terms of actual usage, in terms of presentation here on the bench, this thing is sweet. And I cannot wait for tomorrow to come, not only because it's Christmas, but because I get to use this. So, uh, once again, huge thanks to Casey Tool for sending this thing out for us to check out and play around with, and uh, has yet to disappoint me. So, uh, super excited there. And then again, I mean, case in point here, this is just the Neodymium Magnet. If we wanted to come in, if you had something deep, you've got 89 millimeter bits, you can go to town there. Again, you could turn this into a silent gear nut driver. <laughs> it's like, I feel like every vi every other video we've done recently, I spent like 15 minutes playing around with potential attachments. I'll try to spare you of that in this one, but everything you've seen me do with the Philo and the Vera, we can do here, and it's going to be sweet. I mean, you know, I, I can't really resist. The 3 8 dad gum is in my... Uh, bag but let's come in right here just because we can <laughs> and, uh, yeah you get the idea i mean like i said i'm not gonna put you through it but uh rest assured i'm i am beyond excited about this thing and i uh, cannot wait to give it a once over uh, in terms of actual usage so i'm gonna go check on the project here wrap the video up lonestarmopars.com is the website if you have not subscribed i encourage you to do so if you ring the bell and jump your charger over the creek, maybe just maybe they'll notify you when videos go live, which should be every Saturday morning and Wednesday is currently for the Ram Revival. 
Similarly, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. All three will be at Lone Star Mopars. Again, if you've used this, some of you across the pond might already have this thing. How are you liking it? If you plan to pick this up, what sold you the most? Uh, this is going to be interesting. Is it going to be the new unique design? Is it going to be the silent gear? Or is it the return angle? If you had to pick one of those features, silence or the minimalistic return angle, which one gets you the most excited? Uh, and then, of course, when you get it and you've used it, come back and let everyone know what you think of it. And uh, see if you can kind of validate my excitement for this sucker. So that said, I'll Kurt Ramblin. Once again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. Uh, if you were disappointed or you think, man, you know, this person's so nice, I should have gotten them something cooler or a better gift than I did, there you are. I don't know who could argue with this. It's in the tools. So. Uh, I will leave it at that, though. Uh, I cannot wait for tomorrow morning to come. Hopefully my nephew likes the uh, NBA Jam arcade cabinet, and uh, hopefully I enjoy putting it together with this guy. So uh, Stay tuned for an update on that. But uh, like I said, I'll catch you back here. Hope you all have a fantastic New Year's, a great 2021. Again, as long as you're happy, healthy, you got your friends and family, uh, we're, we're doing pretty good here. So all this stuff is just kind of a bonus. But, uh, well, that said, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I'll catch you guys back here for more action from the shop.